Let's see what we have. Inquisitor. All right. For someone to talk your ear off? I think I can oblige. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. It's peaceful here. You must have good memories of this place. It was a place of comfort. It is good to see it still untouched by Corypheus. Liliana, is that you? Sister Natalie. What are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No. I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lady, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. You owe me 20 readings of the Canticle of Trials for that insult. She doesn't mean it. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. darkness. Above all, that strength is in a broken heart. An open heart. Well, that was true. And was it? But Justinia always said that compassion was my greatest strength. It takes courage. In the 
benedictions every Friday. That canticle was just Dina's favorite. Of course. Never give up the traditions of a most beloved divine. That is lovely to hear. I stare up at the breach sometimes. It's terrifying, but beautiful in its way. It is beautiful. Have you seen it by sunrise? When the sun rises through it, it splits into what looks like a thousand suns, like a broken mirror. Yes, spectacular, isn't it? Sorry to keep you waiting. Good old Leliano was playing you the whole time. Didn't you realize? They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hen, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see where Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thedas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? You must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. We don't have to be at odds, Natalie. You could come with us, join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray her. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. We don't have to kill her. No. I must protect the Inquisition. She is an enemy. I see what you've become. The righteous stand before the darkness, and the Maker shall guide them. No! This can't be it. There's nothing here. Check again. Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seemed the puzzling sort. No, it's just... it's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but... My conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Then you have to let it go. Let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. This? Now? After everything you've said and done? And my poor dear Natalie. I called her sister once, but I couldn't risk leaving her alive. Don't tell me to let it all go after all I've sacrificed to get here.
Justinia tried to save me. But all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold. <laughs>